Hello, it is Saturday, July the 16th, and this is the Greenmar Valley Church of the Nazarene with your daily devotion. Today we read from the book of 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, verses 1 through 11. Here's the word of the Lord. Now, brothers and sisters, about times and dates we do not need to write to you, for you know very well that the day of the Lord will come like a thief in the night. While people are saying peace and safety, destruction will come on them suddenly as labor pains on a pregnant woman, and they will not escape. But you, brothers and sisters, are not in darkness, so that this day should surprise you like a thief. You are all children of the light and children of the day. We do not belong to the night or to the darkness. So then let us not be like others who are asleep, but let us be awake and sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk, get drunk at night. But since we belong to the day, let us be sober, putting on faith and love as a breastplate, and the hope of salvation as a helmet. For God did not appoint us to suffer wrath, but to receive salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ. He died for us, so that whether we are asleep or awake, we may live together with him. Therefore, encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. And that is the word of the Lord. <clears throat> the article today is titled Light Versus Dark by Cherry Comble. We can be too late. A house cannot be prepared to stand in the hurricane while in the midst of the storm. We cannot study for an exam when the ex exam is on the desk in front of you. You cannot keep an appointment if you leave after the set time. Believers are encouraged not to be surprised by the return of the Lord. A friend offered comforting words to a dying old man. I thatched my house when the weather was warm. He prepared beforehand. We should not be found unprepared when we leave this world to be with our Lord. Paul presents the contrast of darkness and light, telling the church they are not in darkness, but are children of light and of the day. The church today is to be like the Thessalonian church unified in encouraging one another as they live in the light of Christ. Christ's coming will be sudden, but there is no reason to be caught off guard. Those who live in darkness are unprepared, but Christians who are watchful and hopeful will be found ready. The hymn is by Thomas H. Trover. View the present through the promise. View the present through the promise, Christ will come again. Trust despite the deepening darkness, Christ will come again. And from the 123rd Psalm, verse 1, I lift my eyes to you, to you who sat enthroned in heaven. And this is your daily devotion for Saturday, July the 16th. Have a blessed day.